Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a face rig in Blender using Rigify. Don't worry, if you're a beginner, we'll go step by step and I'll explain everything clearly so you can follow along. By the end, you'll have a working face rig ready to animate. So let's get started. First, let's enable the tool we need. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, Add-ons tab, in the search bar, type Rigify. When you see it, check the box to turn it on. This add-on gives us pre-made rigs that we can customize. Now, press Shift plus A, Armature, Human, Meta Rig. This will add a full body rig to the scene. But for a face rig, we don't need the entire body. So go into edit mode, select all the bones except the face bones and delete them. Now only the face bone structure remains. Next, we need to position the bones on the character's face. Scale the bones so they roughly fit the head. Don't worry about being perfect yet, just match the overall size. Now, switch to the side view, press numpad 3. Before moving bones, turn on x-axis symmetry. This makes sure any changes you make on one side will also update the other side automatically. Now use box select, the B key, to select groups of bones and start aligning them with the character's face. This step is very important because if the bones are not placed correctly, the rig won't deform the face properly. Also, Turn on Snap to Face from the Snapping menu at the top. This will help you stick the bones directly onto the mesh surface instead of floating in the air. At this stage, take your time and carefully move each bone to match the correct part of the face. The jaw bone to the jaw, eye bones to the eyes, mouth bones to the lips, etc. If you're not sure where a certain bone should go, you can use the Rigify Bone Placement Guide. I'll share the link in the description. It shows exactly where each face bone belongs. To make this process easier, you can hide some bones that are not needed at the moment. For example, if you're working on the mouth, you can temporarily hide the eye bones. By doing this step by step, the bones will align perfectly with your character's face and your rig will be ready for the next stage. For the eye bones, Here's a very easy way to place them perfectly inside the eyeballs. First, select your eye mesh in object mode. Right click and choose set origin to geometry. This makes sure the object's origin point is exactly in the center of the eye. Now press Shift S, cursor to selection. This moves the 3D cursor right to the center of the eye. Next, switch to edit mode on the armature. For, select the eye bone 
you want to move. Five, press Shift S, Selection Two Cursor. The bone will snap perfectly to the center of the eye. Repeat the same process for the other eye. Now your eye bones are exactly aligned with the eyeballs, which makes rigging and rotation smooth and natural. Now that we've aligned the face bones, let's move on to generating the rig. First, press Alt-H to unhide all bones in case you've hidden some earlier while working. With the bones visible, go over to the Rigify panel and click Upgrade Rig, then press Generate Rig. But here's something you might run into. Sometimes Blender will show an error message that says, Rigify error, bone cannot connect to non-chain parent, incorrect armature for type chain. This basically means Rigify doesn't like how one of the bones is connected. Don't worry, it's a common beginner issue. In most cases, the problem comes from the spine bone. To fix it, go back into edit mode, select that extra spine bone, and delete it. Now, try clicking Generate Rig again. This time, you'll notice Blender creates a rig, but it might look incomplete or not what we want. That's okay, because there's another way to do it properly. So let's undo those steps. Control Z until we're back before generating. Switch over to pose mode with your armature selected. To make sure we can see everything clearly, turn on wireframe view. Select the main face bone, and in the Rigify Type panel, change the rig type to Basic Super Face Rig. This is important. Rigify needs to know what kind of rig to generate for the face specifically. Once you've set that, click Generate Rig again. And now you'll see your rig is properly generated. You'll notice the controls appear around the face, and this time, they're fully functional. First, go into Object Mode. Select your character Mesh. This is the main body. Important, don't select the eyes, tongue, or teeth right now. We're only focusing on the main body mesh. Now, hold Shift and select the rig, the generated armature. Press Control plus P and choose With Automatic Weights. This tells Blender to automatically assign weight painting so the mesh deforms when the bones move. But sometimes you'll see an error. Bone heat weighting failed to find solution. Don't worry, this usually happens if your model is too small or scaled strangely. Fix, simply select everything, both the rig and the mesh, and scale it up a little. Try parenting again, this time, it should work fine. Now, if you go into pose mode and move one of the main bones, you'll see the mesh deform correctly. That means the body is successfully rigged. The tongue is a separate mesh, so we'll need to parent it separately. First, go into the Bone Properties panel. Make sure DEF bones are visible. These are the deform bones used for binding. Select the tongue bone in pose mode, just so you know where it is. Switch back to object mode. Select the tongue mesh, then shift select the rig. 
press Control P, then with automatic weights. Now the tongue will deform properly with the rig. Next, let's do the teeth. They don't deform like the tongue. Instead, they move rigidly with the jawbone. In pose mode, select the lower teeth bone. Switch back to object mode, select the lower teeth mesh, then shift select the rig. This time, press Ctrl P, then bone. Why bone instead of automatic weights? Because we don't want the teeth to bend or deform. They should just stick to the jawbone. Do the exact same steps for the upper teeth with the corresponding bone. Now for the eyes. In pose mode, select one of the eye bones, switch back to object mode, select the eye mesh, then shift select the rig, press Ctrl P, then bone. Repeat this for the other eye. Just like the teeth, the eyes should only follow the eye bones without deforming. Once everything is parented, go back into the bone properties and turn off the DEF bones if you don't need to see them anymore. This keeps your viewport clean. For smoother deformations on the mesh, add a subdivision surface modifier to your character. This will make movements look much more natural. Finally, let's test it out. Go to Pose Mode. Select different facial controls in bones, move them around. Check if the body bends, the tongue follows, the teeth stick, and the eyes rotate correctly. If everything moves as expected, congratulations! Your face rig is now complete and ready for animation.